Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. It is a very like warm, smoky, kind of grungy 90s type of look. I don't know, I was just feeling this look lately. It's not fall yet, it's still summer, but it's creeping up and I'm getting kind of antsy. So I was wanting to use some of the darker, warmer shades today. So this is the look that I came up with. And if you guys like it and want to see how I got it, then please keep watching. Okay, so I've already done my brows and my foundation because my skin is god-awful right now. It is that time of the month. You know what I'm talking about. Nobody wants to see that, so I just went ahead, covered it up, and we're good. So, now I am going to go ahead and do my concealer so that I can be baking while I'm working on my top lids because I'm going to be using some darker colors and some glittery colors so I don't want it to have any um, fallout and then we'll brush away and work on our lower lash lines. So I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this is in the shade Light Neutral. And then I'll go ahead and do the center of the face too while I have it out. And I also put some on my lids already and set that with powder just to prep for shadow. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my damp Real Techniques sponge. Secret Brightening Powder. And I'll just go ahead and dust a little bit on everywhere else. I put that concealer as well. I'll go back in and set all the rest of my face in a little bit. Okay, so for today's look, I'm using the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm just going to start with this like standard flesh tone shade right here in my crease for the transition. Then I'm going to mix a couple shades. I'm going to use this one right here. It's a little bit darker and this one right here, which is a little bit darker yet. Using that same fluffy brush, I'm just going to put those into the crease as well and also bring it down onto the lid. This is gonna be a pretty dark, kind of grungy, smoky look. So you can kind of be a little bit messy with it. Then I'm taking this center shade of the palette, it's a really warm red undertoned brown. And I'm also going to switch brushes, this is the Sigma E25, it's kind of a smaller, dirty, tapered blending brush. And I'm going to take that color and drive it more into the crease. And I'm going from inner to outer in a windshield wiper motion like that. I'm going to take that same shade on this smaller, more dense brush just to really drive it into the crease even further. And I'm actually going to mix in a little bit of this shade down here which is even darker than this one that I'm using right now, right there. Just mix those two together and really drive it into the crease. Go 
go back and blend it out a little bit with that E25. Taking that E25 and that center shade from the palette, I'm just going to go ahead and pat that onto my lid. I'm just mixing that center shade in the palette with one of the transition shades. I'm just kind of bringing that up a little bit further because I'm looking into my um, monitor over there and it's just not quite as obvious as I would like it to be. So like I said, I want this to be really dark and smoky and kind of grungy looking. So I'm going to bring that color up a little bit further. You don't have to. You can bring it up as far as you want. And since I brought that up a little more, I'm just going to go back in with just that darkest shade that we used and just darken up the crease again a little bit. I went ahead and switched to a different brush because I decided I wasn't really liking this one. And this is just like a really long, tapered brush. I can really get into a crease. And then of course go over it again with that E25, just very lightly. Then I'm just going to take that first shade in the palette, just the matte vanilla shade to highlight underneath my brow. Just a little bit and I'm not using anything shimmery because again this is more of a smoky grungy look. And then just kind of lightly blend them together. Okay, so now I'm going to take this shade from the palette. It's really glittery with kind of like a coppery with a little bit more red. It's not really coming up that reddish shade on camera, but that's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to take this flat synthetic brush and I'm just going to wet it with some Fix Plus. And then I'm just going to pack that all over my lid. to very lightly with that E25 go across the crease just to make sure there's not glitter up there and there's not like a harsh line between the glitter and the crease. Okay so now that I'm done with the top lid I'm just going to go ahead and brush away that bake and there was a little bit of fallout from that glitter shade, but because we have the powder there, we can just brush it away. Okay, so now for the bottom lash line, I'm basically just going to be using the same shades that I did for the top. So I'm just going to take a really small blending brush. This is the Morphe M507. And I'm just going to start mimicking those colors on the lower lash line. And again, I'm bringing it down and making it really smoky and grungy, so don't be afraid to really smoke it out and bring it down quite far. I 
I actually switched back to the A25 for a minute. It just seemed like it was going to be easier for as far as I was bringing down this color. So I'm just using a couple of the lighter brown shades that we started with as a transition. Just using that smaller brush again to get up closer to my lash line. And then back to the E25. I swear nobody ever really looks in the mirror when they're doing their lower lash line. Like, we just have no idea what's going on. We just blend and hope for the best. We also make this really cute face. It's like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like the mascara face. I don't know why we do that. I guess we think it, I don't know, opens our eyes more, which it probably doesn't, but... I think we all do it, so it's fine. Okay, now that we are sufficiently grunged with those colors, I'm going to go back in with that smaller brush, and I'm taking that center shade from the palette and just making it a little bit darker. Then taking a flat definer brush and that darkest shade, I'm just going to get right up under my lashes. monitor just went to sleep so now I can only see myself in this little baby viewfinder which just does me no good so one second let me turn it back on <sighs> okay moving on to the face I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Okay, to bronze the face, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Wow, that is disgusting. And I am taking this middle shade right here to bronze, and then I will take this lighter, cool, grayish tone color for my contour. So I'm just gonna take that middle shade and hit all of the usual bronzing places all around the outside of my face. And I'm being especially careful right here. I'm just kinda like patting more so than swiping because that's where a majority of my breakout is right now. I don't know if you can see that. And so I don't want to really disturb any of the product that's on it. Okay, sorry, my camera stopped recording. I was saying I don't want to disturb any of the product that's on it, giving me some coverage right now. So when I get to that area, I just kind of pat more so than swiping. And then taking that cool contour shade. And again, I'm kind of really just patting right here as best I can because that is right where my breakout is. Luckily, that's not a highlighting area. That's a contouring area. So it's a little easier to conceal it because if you highlight, obviously, it's just going to make it worse. So when you have a breakout right here, forget about it. But I'm just going to kind of dab right there. And that cool tone will make more of a natural shadow if you can see versus this side just has the bronzer and this side has the contour and I'm just going to try to like lightly blend that up a little bit so yeah speaking of this breakout that I'm having I was wanting to do that full face of highlighters thing that's going around but first of all I don't know that I own that many highlighters and second of all 
like I was just saying with the breakout that is like the worst possible thing that I could do so if I get around to that it's going to have to be later when hopefully this breakout goes away which of course by then I'll probably just have another one but we will see I'm also just running that contour along the sides of my nose and then just a little bit under my jaw while I have it out, I'm just going to go ahead and use the yellow and the peachy shade and just put that under my eyes a little bit. Just kind of brighten it up. Even though I did already use that secret brightening powder, just I just feel like it. Okay. So then I'm going to take some more of that translucent powder and a flat brush. This is the Morphe M459 and I'm just going to put that underneath my contour just to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to let that sit while I work on my blush and my highlight. So for my blush and highlight today I'm using the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and for my blush I'm going to be using Amaretto which is this shade right here in the middle. And this just kind of adds to the bronziness of your face because it's kind of a blush slash bronzer type of color. And there might be a little bit of pink mixed in here from the last color I used on this brush, but that's okay. Okay, so then I'm going to take the Morphe M501 and just wet it with some Fix Plus. And I'm going to mix the two highlights in there, Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. And I'm just going to put that on the tops of my cheekbones. And kind of sweep it around to the high point of my brow so that C shape. Bam. Then I'm going to wet a small brush. This is a Morphe E36. I'm just going to mix those two again and use that for my inner corner highlight. Then I'm just going to brush away that powder. And then I'm going to go in with a black liner. This is the Marc Jacobs, what is this called, highlighter. I got this in a birthday little perk thing from Sephora. And I have so many black liners, high-end and drugstore, and this one stays on for eternity. I'm not even joking. Like, you know how you'll put it on your waterline and sometimes an hour later it's already like wearing off or by the end of the day it's like you don't even have any on. This I will put on and it will stay on all day long. It's just still completely solid black. So the Marc Jacobs highlighter this is just a little sample one. I don't know how much the full size are, but I definitely recommend it. So I'm just going to line my upper waterline. Again, does really anybody ever look when they do this? I'm sure everyone like basically cries over it like I am right now. Oh my god, this eye is like about to come running down my face. <sighs> Can't have that. The struggle. And then line my lower waterline as well. Okay, so now I'm taking that same flat synthetic brush that I used for the glitter on my lid and I'm just going to apply a little bit right up against like my lashes right in the center of my lower lash line. I'm not taking it all the way across. I just want to give it a little extra something on the bottom. 
I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush again. Just pick up a little bit on the tip of my brush. Just pat that on the center. So that is pretty much it for the eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went ahead and did a thin band of liner just right up against my lashes to help blend in the falsies. And for falsies, I am using the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. And then after I got the lashes on, I noticed that the lower lash line wasn't quite dark enough for me. So I just went into a couple of those darker colors that I was using before and just made it a little bit darker and brought it down a little bit further. And then I realized that I did not highlight my nose and my cupid's bow so I'm just going to take that same little brush that I used for my inner corner and just apply those same highlights to my nose and my cupid's bow. Okay, so moving on to lips, I already exfoliated them earlier and I am wearing the um, Best Damn Lip Mask right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips and this is Max Cork. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip and it is in the shade Limbo. Then to finish it all off, I'm using the Scandinavia Setting Spray. Okay, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye! My eyes are like, keep trying to water. So I keep blinking to try to keep them from watering. I don't know what the deal is, but like, every time I do like a full face of makeup, like the whole nine, like my nose is running now because my eyes are watering and I don't know what it is like it's not going to use the same products every time so like to narrow it down would be like impossible but lately that has been like a big issue for me so if anyone else has that issue please let me know and let me know if you know what the heck is causing it because it's driving me crazy like I will just get like all my makeup done and then I have to go blow my nose and then you know it's like Rudolph status so if you suffer with whatever this is please let me know I don't know if like the ground is shaking or like some ghost is trying to play me, but it like it shakes and I'll just have to sit here for like 20 minutes and wait for it to stop and like it'll get worse and it'll kind of get better for me and then I get worse again. There's really no rhyme or reason to why it happens, but it's happening right now and if you know why, comment below. Let me know because I would love to not have to deal with it every time I'm filming because I swear as heck don't know what it is.